Hey y'all, uh, this is the last video that's going to be posted here on this on this channel. Um, this channel is never really intended to make money. This channel is always like a personal project for me. But in light of recent developments, uh, I gotta get I gotta get busy. I gotta get legit. I gotta start doing the work. And. Let's um, just to catch you up. I've worked for AT and T for the last 23 years. I was laid off in January, and I swear to gosh, man, it was like it was like stepping off a moving train. It, it it's taken me a couple of months just to let go of AT and T's problems. It ain't my problems no more. They're AT and T's problems, and at the same time. It also left me a problem. And the problem is, is that all of my work, all of my credibility, everything that I did is still stuck in there. All, all of the goodwill, my brand, my personal brand, my reputation is all still stuck in AT&T. So, but then something else happened just recently on uh, this past this past week, everybody in my organization was told they need to start looking for a new job. Um, I understand. I understand the economics behind it. I understand the business. AT and T has not been the the juggernaut that it looks like on the outside since I got here. I mean, my first day that I was here, first day that I was there is when they were taking away all the plants and stuff out of the buildings, taking all the managers' phones back. They were seriously cut, cost-cutting. Because back in 2001, uh, the world was shifting to cellular and people were dropping landlines. So, you know, and then, I mean, we're talking about a company that's making $23 billion a quarter, all right? I mean, now, today, $23 billion a freaking quarter. But, but the reality of it is, there's a lot of baggage that AT&T has to maintain. It has to maintain plain old telephone lines. You go to any major city, you see a big giant building in every major city that is going to be an AT&T building and it's going to be empty. And, and I'm not talking like a sales store. I'm talking an AT&T building that houses the hardware that enables you all to communicate. Uh, AT&T is a very hardware intensive business and uh, 5G is not cheap. So, like right now, everybody's rolling out, they're rolling out 5G. Every new customer that we add cost us, well, see here I am saying us. Again, I'm retired at and I still love at and but I, I do recognize the reality. So for every new 5G customer that we add, it cost us $10,000. It takes seven years to make that money back before they start becoming profitable, all right? So... And there's some new technology that's about to hit that's also going to be hardware intensive that's going to enable a lot more stuff, you know, like air gig. You know, and that's like imagine a Wi-Fi connection at every light of every light on the street. And that Wi-Fi connection is what's going to enable your self-driving car. It's going to enable Web3. It's going to enable XR. It's going to, you know, it's, but it can't be done without the hardware. All right. So, so I do understand that. And, uh, but man, I tell you, this past Friday, when I found out that everybody in my organization was told to start looking for a new job, that hurt my heart, man, because I know, I know that these people are the best of the best. And, and when I say best of the best, I'm saying best of the best in the world of an instructional design and leadership development. These are the GOATs. You do not get a job at AT&T if you're bullshit, all right? You do not keep your job at at and if you're bullshit. These people that my co-workers that I worked with, they were the best of the best. We were pushed harder. We, we pushed ourselves harder. We pushed each other harder. And then to have them all just cast to the side, it, it hurts my heart, man, because I know they're good. I mean, part of the phase was, first phase of it was, 
which I was a part of, they need to get rid of that pension money, man. Lots and lots of people, you know, like me, have been working, you know, there for 20 years or longer. And that pension shows up on the balance sheet as a, as a liability, a debt. They have to get that off the books. <laughs> so, you know, that, that was the first big push, man. But I swear, Friday, I, I was not prepared for that. So, my over these last six months, man, I've just been really figuring out what do I want to do. Because I'm not going to say I'm, I'm rich, but I got money. You know, I, I, I did pretty good working there. That pension was like an unexpected benefit. I didn't even know anything about the pension when I, when I took the job. I just knew I wanted to be there. And that was like a, they, they ended the pension program the year after I got hired. So... Thank you for that, man. And uh, thank you, AT&T, for all the things that you've done for me. Um, and, but, but now, I got the world that I've been put into, the world that we, AT&T, helped create is not the same world that I left when I got into AT&T. You know, there are so many different ways to make money, you know. And uh, ooh, look at that boat coming. See over there? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here on vacation right now. And really it's giving me time to think and reflect, you know, breaking that, my normal cycle of things that I do to just doing something, you know, and different. But there are some boats coming by. So anyway... Um, the other things that's going on in this world now is that a lot of these companies are dropping a lot of their knowledge workers, man. A lot of, there's a lot of really talented folks, man, that are, are essentially looking for a job as they tried the great reset after COVID to try to get the, the you know, the numbers down. But I also think that, uh, business is really counting on AI to supplement knowledge knowledge workers or make the knowledge workers that they do have able to do the work of 10 people or something like that which makes sense makes sense to me especially when you have you know your built-in knowledge base and you have data to draw upon to to essentially fill the ai so that it can you know create what you need so i, I do understand but again it freaking hurt man it freaking hurt to, to hear that my friends were told they got to go. You got to go. I, I am thankful that they do have time to, you know, they got a few months to prepare. They they weren't given like two weeks like I was. And again, man, it's like stepping off a moving train. And not only did you, I step off a moving train, I stepped off a moving train in a whole new world, a whole new work environment that in effect I helped enable but at the same time the skill sets that I went into AT&T with as just an instructional designer a master's degree in educational technology I'm not the same guy that went in there I'm, I'm a different guy I do video I do graphic design I write scripts all of these things because I saw that's where we were headed but I left all of that there. All of my work is there inside of AT&T. So this channel, which was just my playground to help me learn and, and, and essentially keep a history of, my, of fun times in my life, I don't need this channel, man. I need to create new channels that are work, my work. I, I put... I put minimal effort into the things I put on this channel. Nowhere near the effort that I put into my work product. And again, my work product is freaking awesome. That's why I was there for 23 freaking years. My, origina my originality, my creativity, and my willingness to get it done. So I'm going to apply all of those techniques that I use to develop my internal brand at at and now in the real world. And, um... You know, I'm gonna have, I may have to humble myself to, if 
if if that's what it takes to align myself with the people that support the goals that I want to that I want to achieve. And but at the same time, you know, I'm really looking for others to collaborate with as as we develop something new. I in my heart, man, I feel that something amazing is going to happen. And I feel that I'm the one that can make it happen. So I'm going to bet on me. I'm going to bet 100% on me. And uh, I thank you all for watching this stupid video. And uh, I just say sit back and enjoy the ride, man, because it's about to get really weird up in here. And thank you, at and for everything that you've done for me and my family and for the opportunities that you've given me. I, I have I have left A&T into a better man for it. Go blue. <laughs>